negotiate it after the first year, right? Is basically what the contract said. Or we you said you're you supposed to do a review, review in March. Yeah. You guys can have an extra view in March. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm, I'm not wearing this meeting. <laughs> so, what sections of the budget do you have ready for us to go through? All, I have the, all public the ones. Works ready, but Millie kind of wanted to go home because she's been up since three a.m. Millie, that's fine. We don't yeah. have to go over it tonight. If you want to go home, that's. I mean, we can go through fine. it, and then I can ask her questions about. Yep, what. that's fine. Well, that's okay. That is fine. Um, Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to bed. Yeah. I would, but I have kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can tend themselves. That's true. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, Millie. Thanks, the, Millie. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. I did put the 6000 in for selectmen, so that's new in your book. <clears throat> and I changed the, uh, the admin. Oh, I can't remember what pages you wanted me to change. We did admin wages and insurance. Okay, yeah, the insurance I low I not I took um, one person out, so that's lower. And I mean, if you look at the summary under admin, that's down by twenty-eight thousand overall. I mean, some items I budgeted more and some items I budgeted less, but we've already gone through the admin budget. Um, I don't know if you have any questions about any of that stuff. Well, when you did this like when stipend, if it's a thousand dollars each, it should be five thousand, not six thousand. That's the only thing I see go by. Oh, yep. Why yeah. did it come up? Probably you just thought you were doubling it, but we were already getting we were getting six hundred. Right. Okay. I mean, I'll take twelve hundred if you want. <laughs> you really want to give us that much more in March? That's up to just you leave guys. It, leave it or <laughs> reduce it to five. Well, if we said a thousand, that would be yeah. five. I. But I can't. I, I say it. keep it at six. Okay. I mean, that, how long has it been at six hundred? Like. I'm forever talking, you're talking 20 years at least 30 years I, I don't know i mean i agree with you so oh i did a, i amended the um the wages um um Darlene brought up the fact that we have an additional primary. So I just, I increased it a little bit for ballot clerk. Um, that's not a big deal. So the admin budget in here now includes the five and a half percent for wages? Yes. Okay. And it's still down 27K? Yes. That's good. Stop it. I mean, I'm, we're going to have to go up on wages by some amount because of inflation. Mm -hmm. so if it's going to be 123, I'd like us to see see some cuts up elsewhere where we can where we can do it. Any other questions about the admin sections? So the big change was in the insurance line. Yeah, I mean, last year it was 75,000 and I guess, um, I don't need insurance. And, uh, three, yeah, we reduced it to three people. I, you know, I don't, I don't see any need to budget any more than that. That's right. Would there be? How many open positions do we have? How many open positions do we have in the office? 
or just like through the town that would then require additional insurance. Well, oh, this is ago. just in the admin, not. Oh, right, right, right. This oh, is no. the whole thing. What an admin, we still have the, the clerk's position open, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. But your budget in, but that's the money included the in here. Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. All right, that's another then, one uh, we can go over. Did we go, we go through assessor, right? Again, like last week's agenda, the last, what, last week's last week. We did. Last week. Okay. Yes, we went over assessor. There was okay. a map company coming. To start yeah, we went through uh, legal map. and professional. Yep. You wanted yep. that um, changed a little bit. Yep. 35. Okay. In legal and um, 45 in engineering. So I made that change. We talked about Washington. We did Washington. That was as far as we got. Okay. So then I, I really wanted to get to public works tonight. Um, I'm sorry we had that storm. So Millie's not here. But, That's fine. Um, So the wages again, generally I did 5.5%, uh, but there was one person that I felt really deserved to step up. Uh, but this, what's on here would not include the increase to Millie's. It does not yet. Okay. It, oh wait, uh, no, it doesn't. It only has the- it had the 500% on her start. Yeah, salary. so it would be another like $2,400. Yeah. But are we wait, we waiting on that or? I mean, I just want confirmation. That that okay, that's right. The that's agreement, right. which I'm not, it's not that I don't believe Millie, but we just need to mm -hmm. have support for that. Um, again, insurance, it kind of is what it is. There's five people with single, Policies, we pay 100% of, of the single. So that's up slightly, actually. Retirement, that's 6%. That's about the same as last year. Um, when did the summary come out? The summary is actually. Um, service fees, that's things like uh, Lucas striping, street sweeping, catch basin cleaning, uh, ex hiring extra people if we need to for snow removal, uh, Seacoast security. I did reduce that line based on what I could find. I went through the detail of um, you know, what we spend out of that account. And I just didn't find that we were gonna spend that much. The average for the last four years is 22,000. What I do is um, print off the detail of what we spent for one whole fiscal year. And I look at that. And then I look at for the current year in the detail of what we've spent. Um, I didn't see anything. I guess the thing, oh, I do have a question about this, this line. So frequently, um, you hire either island excavation or um, Philbrook. Philbrook. Uh, they have excavators and we don't. So, for instance, maybe for culvert replacement. And I think this change. In the, hmm? And this change. Yeah. Yeah. So in 2021, there was a, a, a large expenditure for excavator work that was uh, Philbrook. 
mm. excavation. Oh, right, right, right. So I guess my question is, do we expect to repeat that? Because that was into the thousands of dollars. Well, they rented the excavator last spring, but that was in a, well, that was, let's see, in the spring. Yeah, that would be the same fiscal year, 21-22. And it was taken out of uh, road repair. Mm -hmm. I'd really kind of, <clears throat> uh, the road repair account is kind of mixed in with reserve funds. Um, the way my mind works in terms of budgeting, I think if, if you intend to expend money in, the, in, in a current year, then that's an, that goes in the operating budget. I mean, if you want to set aside money for roads, I think that's always a good idea and then transfer it to a reserve fund um, for larger projects. But um, to my mind, if you're going to be spending the money in the current year that you're budgeting for it, that's an operating expense. Mm -hmm. So that belongs in the operating budget. But that's, you know, that's how my mind works. Um, the way it's set up now, there's a line item under capital projects called road repair. And there was 239,000 that was budgeted for that. Um, and it's, on, it's in the middle of capital projects. So that should be moved into a reserve fund? I'm not sure what the intent, Debbie said that the intent that it was more of a, um, it was supposed, it's not a transfer to reserves. It, it was a money that was intended to be expended that year. At least that's what it was explained to her. That is in a different section of the budget, correct? Probably it's in the capital it. project part. Okay. Well, it's not in here. Okay. Um, I'd like to just move those things back into operating, but I guess my question is, do we, do we, and maybe that's a question more for Millie, do we expect to use um, those companies as much this year or going forward into 22, 23? Should I get that in the budget somewhere? Yeah, I think it's worth asking the question. Mm -hmm. If we are going to be using them again, next fiscal Sorry, here, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, it's a different once you get done with the excavate, but then I have questions about the catch basin point. Um, well, Millie and I talked about that. There wouldn't really be that much this year depending on when the uh, downtown project starts. I mean, there are other catch basins other than on Main Street. There's catch basins up on High Street. There's catch basins on Water Street. So they're not all right on Main Street, but um, we discussed the fact that we probably wouldn't bother doing much of anything on Main Street itself with those catch basins if we thought it was just going to get dug up and you know those catch basins are going to be replaced. Is that what you were talking thinking about? Or? Yeah, I was just wondering why you can't. And then what happens to the ones that kind of like not within the downtown area that's kind of out of the way for themselves or between them? In my experience, we've always had somebody come and clean them. But somebody said that it used to be the street sweeper machine and the catch basin machine were one and the same. Is that what your memory is? But now the, when the street sweeper came out, he didn't bring the equipment to do the catch basins this last right. year. Yes. Um, so I don't know, I don't really know the answer to that question. Um, but my experience has been that we hire somebody to come out with one of those suction machines and, uh, and clean them out. Yeah, they should be done every six months, shouldn't they? Or 
Um, and when they get the downtown project complete, <clears throat> um, then the, our crew would be able to, or supposedly to be able to do that themselves, right? In the cap cases. Why is that? Anyway, I don't remember why they didn't, why the street sweeper didn't want to do the patch basin. That there was some reason, isn't there? I don't remember if there was a reason. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's just, they don't want to come out here. Like everyone else, maybe it was too much of a pain to bring the extra mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't recall. I mean, they're getting rid of the, they're not going to have two big boats this summer either, so. Hard to get vehicles out here. Thompson's out. Thompson's out indefinitely. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is. Yes, the tap of it. Engine replacement. Indefinitely. Indefinitely, which means it'll be back next winter when we don't need it. <laughs> <clears throat> the North Haven, North Haven got the Libby today, so it could be worse. Oh, I'm sure we'll get the Libby at some point. Probably July 4th. I was just going to say July 4th weekend. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so. Um, so I need to look at that. Um, the money for paying people to run their excavators, then. So I should budget the same. Well, there was a line in here, wasn't there? I thought about 4,000. Well, I put 4,000 in here yep. under service fees. But I mean, if you look under uh, road repair, where where a lot of this money was spent out of. Um, we don't have. We don't have road repair. Fire, yeah. uh, I know. I'm sorry, but I'm. Okay. I'm looking at the road repair detail of what was spent, mm -hmm. and um, I mean it's thousands and thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I'm sure it's not a small number. It's very right. higher end. So would it be the about the same amount of money that we spent in 21, 22? That, I think that is a question. Mm -hmm. yeah. She would be better equipped to answer that. Well, and how much, it, I mean, if, if they can do a lot of the work with a, um, a rented piece of equipment versus hiring. We spent the rented on that, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, she has it in the budget to rent one again this mm -hmm. year. So I, I don't know how long that rental is. It just has a number of a dollar amount. I don't know if that's it was twenty was it twenty nine hundred months or like six months? I don't know. Yeah. So I agree with I thought it said twenty four thousand, so I didn't know if that so was five both. months or maybe I was looking at I so agree with both. both. We I need agree to with EW though that it should be worth uh said twenty four grand question for Melly. Okay. I'll ask her. Yeah, she thinks we're gonna have to hire out some of that excavator work, then we should definitely have that in the budget. Okay. So we have separate choice, like the we when he uses the best way to look up the shipping. Well, last year, um, they had a big line item called road repair that was under capital project. And that's where it was charged last year. Twenty-one, twenty-two. I mean, I, it's something that I still need to explore, I guess, with Millie. So this one will most likely change again as well. Yes. Okay. But if if I guess if you're look, what I'm thinking is to move that stuff back into the operating budget. I mean, that's $239,000. Right. That, I'm moving, that I'd like to move back into operating. If, if it's money that we're gonna be spending, then I don't see the point of having it in capital projects. Well, um, yeah, that's the whole, we've well, been setting we aside some for different line items within capital projects in anticipation of spending that money when we started on those projects, right? So if we are gonna be doing road work this year, then yes, it should come from that line on into the operating budget. But if, if the plan is not to do that this year, then 
maybe we add a little more for, for the reserve fund than use it next year. But well, do you recall what the intent uh, on that road repair line? Would you agree with Debbie's analysis that that was money that was supposed to be spent in the current year? Did Andy talk about two hundred thirty-nine thousand? No, I don't remember. Us. How much did we spend on hire and outside stuff in twenty-one? You said there was a good. It was in the thousands. How much? Do you remember how much that was, Marjorie? Um, I can add it up real quick. There's well, just a rough estimate. I mean, 13, it doesn't have to be rigged to the dollar amount. So that 20, 22. Is that that requirement that he want to reclaim the car? Yeah, that's part of that. That's what I. That's what I thought. Of a road. That's what I meant in under right. capital project. Yeah. For the Thirty-two. Like fifty, over fifty thousand. So what would so if we had two hundred? Did you say we had two hundred thirty-nine in last year? Um, was it 330? Yeah. Was it 239? 239. So, where would the other 180 roughly thousand dollars have gone? Right, if we didn't like if we had that, because I don't know that wasn't supposed to be just to repay like a loan, was it? I don't I mean, I don't understand. It, was actual, it should have been for actual road work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so with that, the year that we're in right now. The excavator rental was in there. Okay. Uh, Mills excavation, eleven thousand. Viking, what's that? It's probably oh, for that culverts or calcium. Something. Twenty-two thousand. Mills excavator. Okay, I already said that. The rental. A lot for Mills excavation. And then Mecklen, that would be material. And we've spent seventy-seven thousand. We look, this is the, this is the 23 budget. It was, yeah, 239,000. Under capital project for road repair? Yeah. Okay. Does it say what we were hoping to get done? Because I can't remember. Yep. It has um, catch basin replacements, culvert replacements, ditching, gravel road surface maintenance, yep. paved yep. road surface maintenance, cold patch, equipment rental, guardrail installation, roadside tree trimming. Remember we and talked about the spent... guardrail around Round Pond and yep. how they couldn't they couldn't do it because there wasn't enough material there to right to put in to put a real guardrail. Guard it's coming back to me, <laughs> little little by little. But <clears throat> that does sound like operating. Mm. It does operating line, not capital capital improvement. Okay. Well, let me I'm assuming we're that. still going to, have to do a lot of that. Like, there's still a lot of catch basins that need to be replaced. There's still ditching work. There's still no everything. Everything's, yeah, everything, everything's fine now. Good. <laughs> if we could take that. We didn't take see that everything. Right. <laughs> the roads are all paved. No potholes. <laughs> Been to the dump. Look like <laughs> yeah. <it's just> Sunday. <laughs> it's a beautiful drive. What's that? To the dump. Oh yeah. No matter which way you go. Yeah. Well, I think it's better from the not paved side. <laughs> Yeah, it probably is. If it could get filled up with tiny cars, then it would <laughs> be people be lost. Mm -hmm. Those are quite big. Do you have any other questions? I mean, I'll work on that. Um, getting a better figure for the excavator people that we hire to add that into service fees. Um, Under the public works, right? Pardon? Under public works, yes. correct. Okay. Um, and of course, we don't have to budget for the roadside mowing anymore. We bought that tractor. Um, All right. Are there any more questions on public works at this time? Or should we move on? Do you know what that was? Real photo that they ran? That was the one that I saw that was 
twenty nine hundred a month, six months. Where is that? That's um because it's to get the um, salt and sand into the shed. Where are you? Um, under equipment, works. under public works. Oh. The wheel loader. Well, I'll get, I think this one we also, once we have Millie, mm -hmm. she can meet with us, she can go through some of these. Right. I'm sure she helped prepare this budget, so she'd have more details. Yeah, she knows a lot more what's going on than we do. Yes, certainly. <laughs> I'm sure she would come in. Equipment repair, <clears throat> that's always a difficult one because it kind of jumps around one year 22,000 and the next 42. I took an average and put in 32,000. Yeah, that's probably conservative. 32,000. I know everything, everything's gone up, labor, parts, everything's gone up exponentially. Oh yeah, if you can get the parts. Well, most, if you have stuff, most of the stuff I think that we have isn't too bad. It's too bad. And Western yeah. Star and stuff like that. But I mean, you might still have to wait a little while, but I think it is getting a little bit better than it was six months ago, or definitely than it was a year and a half ago. But. Yeah. Um, for gas and oil, I'm using $6 a gallon. I mean, I, I looked at the number of gallons and came up with an average that we use every year for the road fuel. So, you know, that's the best I can do in terms of budgeting, but it actually it came out very close to the previous year. Average gallons, I used um, 5,600. Why was it so high in 2017 and 18? I really don't know. Does this include fuel for the garage itself? For heat? Eating? No, yeah. this is just okay. road. Yeah, fuel. no, I saw gas. And, uh, and I the did. The, I talked with um, Vinyl Energy, and they never got back to me with the question of if they were going to offer any prepayments. They didn't. Uh, they haven't answered the question yet. Um, so under utilities, the heating fuel, um, it was, I only had one year to work with in terms of what they'd used. So, you know, I'm estimating about 1200 gallons at 575. Usually the second year in a place is better than the first year because everything, all the materials and everything inside the building is nice and dry, you know, so doesn't take quite as much. Not saying that it won't be colder, but right. we should be close to the same amount, I would think. Yeah, you wouldn't think it would wouldn't increase be that much. Yeah, I rate. reduced it a little bit, the um, utility line. All right, any more questions on public works tonight? We will, we will have to come back to this one. But if not, what's another one we can go over tonight? That I'm sorry. Yeah, That's I'm all right. Sorry. I I had a couple of days that I was sick, so it's all right. We're get... we're starting this earlier than last year, so we're already ahead yeah. of things. So that's the good news. Okay. Um, we want to discuss the wage increase. I mean, we don't have to make a decision tonight, but for everyone, the five and a half percent. Well, what's presented company. here. I think one thing would be nice, those two lines that we noticed that were zero, mm -hmm. we could see what was actually budgeted the year before. If it is a true like addition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because I think this overall increase isn't, I think it's a little high. Because so look at the budget and plug that into the spreadsheet. Right. Look at what was actually Like for budgeted. custodian. Yeah, that was one of the lines, right? Like, yeah, we, we definitely had something budgeted. So it's not a the 21 almost 22 K is not a complete new ad. It's it's an increase, but it's not the full amount. And there was what was the, well, we also just gave the ambulance crew a raise. So that's an extra 14. 
thousand. So that's going to make the five and a half percent go up quite a bit. Well, but the what was budgeted isn't going to change, though, is it? Well, I mean, from one year to the next. That's why, like, some of the percentages is are higher. So the oh, total wage, because there's not, you know, I don't know what percentage that is, but it's more than five and a half percent when you go from forty three to fifty seven. It's more like fifteen, isn't it? Forty three to fifty seven. It's almost a thirty percent. Yeah, it? it's close to close to a third. Yeah. Just off the top of my head, it's almost. So yeah, so that's probably where some of it comes in. The extra labor driver and the because we had a zero one for the assistant foreman and we just took that line right out and just added an extra driver labor. So that's an extra 35 right there. So that's but if you take 59. out 59. Oh yeah, the assistant foreman had nothing but it did last year. If you take out 59 from 926, you're down to 866 roughly. So that's probably closer to the five and a half percent of that. Yeah. I'm just doing quick math off the top of my head. I haven't actually <laughs> plugged it into a calculator. It gets it down to 7.8%, which is those two, the those two. added ambulance driver director. I mean, the ambulance crew wages and then the extra labor at the town garage. If you add those two in, if you take those two out from the 926, it gets you to a 1.78%. So it's a 7.8% wage increase instead of 15. So okay. that's pretty close to the five and a half when you add in all the, I mean, the assessor's getting more, you know, that's right. where that, those are the two big differences that I saw. That's why it's 15, I think, Mars. I was wondering why it looks yeah, so different because if you just uh, they don't know numbers way better than I do. <laughs> I mean, last year was five percent, so this year's five and a half. Proposed. I mean, I think that's pretty fair. Yeah. I mean, what was the cost of living? The best Over eight, Social Security was it seven? Eight point seven. I think it was. It was yeah, yeah, it was almost nine percent. Social Security. I mean, I don't think we'd want to do much less than. No. You said most towns are between four and the survey they did that, that they did on the town manager's list serve was everywhere from uh four percent up to the eight percent or or more. So I took the average, the average was 5.5. Um, I think that's, I, five, five, I think that's yeah. kind of a reasonable number, yeah. I mean, it's it's not I mean, keeping up with inflation completely, but it's better than, yeah, yeah, the inflation is going to drop. No, some of that's going to drop back with commodity prices if we get a recession. It's funny how those companies don't lower their prices though when things well, out here. Out here, <laughs> when things go down on the main one, they don't go exactly. down as fast out here quite so quick. So. <laughs> yeah, I bought a sheet of plywood for ninety bucks yet, uh, yesterday. Yeah, I don't know. Forty-eight dollars. Well, how many billions of dollars did the uh, oil companies make? Record year? windfall profits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every oh, quarter. Just wait, Austin's retiring this year. That'll go even up by Who's retiring? My uncle Austin. Austin. He took cat control on the oil tankers. One of the oil companies. Bunch of crooks. Moving in the earth and then making money on it. I'm good with five. Are we voting on five and a half or? What no, are we, I, what, I, are we, what are we, I mean, I think this have we ever actually voted on it before we just I think this of, is fine. Just kind of direct. It's just, yeah. if she's going through the rest of the budget and putting in the five and a half percent, then we know it's consistent. And, you know, once she presents it, it's we're not going to change it again unless, yeah. unless we go through the whole budget and find out we need to cut more. But I agree. I think five and a half percent right now is yeah. it's reasonable. Yeah, and it's it's got to go up because of the cost of living. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, and like and like Marjorie said, I think some of these salaries aren't really that 
No. That much higher than what you could get at McDonald's for no I mean, people that have been working. We we have to we money. have to increase that bottom right. So we can't also. we can't go with the you know we gave we tried to catch up last year and we can't say well we gave you so much last year we're not going to give you anything this year we got to right no we, we got to try and keep up right before it was ridiculously low when Andy showed us that sheet of what people were hiring for and what we were paying it was. Yeah. The only people we were beating was the main state ferry service, I think. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. When right. I saw that sheet last year. Yeah. yeah. I have a couple of quick things. Yep. Um, sort of separate from budget, but do you want to continue? Do we have any more discussion on the budget? What was the rationale on the insurance again? Is that the pretty steep increase? Where? Is there the insurance on the I thought it was going down. It was going down. Yeah. yeah. Well, on the administrative part, it was going down. Yeah. Which part are well, you talking the, about? The amount that I'm budgeting, uh, the At increase was 4.9%. Um, but I don't need insurance. But last year, there was, uh, I think, five people in the budget. Now, I'm talking about this, this was oh, on the, uh, on the, on the uh, public works. Well, that's because there's an extra person working there. That's right. a hell of an increase. Where, what are we doing? The what I read, I read it right. Well, it seems like it's fourteen thousand dollars a person for insurance on this. What I'm seeing. Well, we budgeted seventy three nine hundred. It's going to seventy seven nine hundred. It's only a six k increase. Yeah. Uh, well, last sorry, year, last increase. year there's a zero balance on one of them, and now this year there's a fifteen thousand dollar balance because there wasn't anyone in that position, and that's just what the insurance costs. So yeah, if that's what it says in the contract, and that's what we got to pay. All right. Two so. Not cheap. Well, I think yeah. I mean, that's one of those things that you can't really. <laughs> no, it's just be nice to understand it, it. That's all. Well, and that was. No, that what I didn't pick no. Um, that's no. the only one I no. saw. No. I don't. No. <laughs> I pay it and hope to God it works. I need you it. hope you never have to use mm -hmm. it. I know it's one of the biggest scams ever, in my opinion. It's something you have to pay for. You have to have it, yeah. but you never want to use it. And if you never use it, you spent money on nothing. Great. Health, health insurance? Don't have it. You guys any, any almost any insurance. Any insurance. Yeah. Like, I'm one of the ones who made up like a bandit. Yeah, <laughs> I've got. Yeah, but you just were so not have had to use it. Well, exactly. I if mean, you had your choice between using right. being sick and not being choice. sick, you would have yeah. choice to yeah. be well, sick. Rather not use it. You realize they spent millions of dollars on you over the years, mm. and that explains. Then I'm pretty. You know, pretty think about if it had to come out of your pocket. Oh yeah, mm. that's. That's the thing right there. Right. Well, there's lifetime limits on most of those insurance policies. That's well, I, don't know. I don't think of it. They, they changed. Are. Well, they changed. They, 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 they got rid of it. They got rid of that one. They got rid of that. I did add up the excavator work. It was fifty-eight thousand dollars. Mm. Oh, we had three hundred and something thousand dollars budgeted for that line. That no, was just part of it, though. Right. Well, what else did we spend? We didn't have any paving done last year. Culvert work. Well, a lot of it hasn't been culverts and ditching. Okay. A lot of it. We, so we budgeted spent. that much. We didn't. Okay. Are we going to do that's anything a, with not with the round round the island road this year? The, that's not. I don't think that's in this year. We, it's going to have to be done soon. But we need to start planning for it. I think. Well, Millie and I have certainly discussed it, and we had somebody come out, um, and uh, we asked them, you know, to give us some estimates. So that we know, you know, what we're looking at for costs. How many miles is it? A mile, two miles, roughly, from one end to the other. Like from, mm -hmm. from from the North Haven Road to the Pequot Road, how far of a distance is it? It's gonna be at least two. I'll say three offhand. Probably. But so I think Andy's, just Andy's like three million. It was a million dollars a mile. To it was it was over three million. And that was you know last that was year the this time that was for the reclaiming it too. right so, so it it's going to be, be double much, that right? at least well that's in tough shape well, well that's, that's why we didn't just want to pave it because you got to go and redo the entire like, every section time, of the road every time we pave rebuilt. it that lasts half as long as they say it should yeah. last and then it's i mean there's some sections that you could probably repave some sections at this point, you'd be better just turn it back into a dirt road. Well, that's I know, I was just thinking well, that. It's better. So the idea last we, spring when we went through budget season, if I'm not correct, is that we were going to try and get someone to bring a mobile plan out here, right? Is that yeah. not yes. correct? So we could do more. We yes. could do the Dogtown Road. 
Yeah. The, the Dortavian room. Caldwood Necro yeah. and the Round the Island Road all at once to try and get a better price per ton because we wouldn't have to have it all dragged out right. separately on the ferry It'd boat or on the bar. Right here. Right. Right. Is that what you guys all remember too? Yes. yes. That's what we were trying to get. Say if we had seven miles of road tape, how much would it cost you to come out here and set everything up and, and just do, do it. that and do it? Right. And if so it's cheaper that way, we do it that way. If it's not, we just have to go do it the but that's what I remember from last budget. That's season. what I remember too. Yeah, because there's there's more than just around the island road that needs work. Right. So but yeah. like but like we're figuring they were gonna already have to come out and pay all of the downstreet project at some time. That's included in in that cost, in that right. cost. So I mean if you could get it all get done at out. the same time and not they're already here. in twenty twenty four What is this budget? 23, 4? This will be the 24 budget. Oh, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it'll be in the 25 budget for that, I would think, because they're not going to finish the downtown project this year. Mm -mm. <laughs> they haven't even started. Eric. Let's hope it starts. Yeah, I mean, the problem year. around the island road is, you know, that stretch by Spruce is that always when it was dirt, you couldn't even get through there. Is, you know, in the town target, they just used the wrong material, you know, they just did the regular cold patch and laid it out. And plus, by tons of years ago, they made the road over a spring because Woodrow said we wondered why it's just always wet. Well, he said when he was a kid, there was a spring there. Old Harbor, you got a problem is the problem is when they put that tie down when they did it, it was no good. Mm -hmm. And they just put two inches of good tie over bad the bad tie. Right. That whole road should have been ripped up after they did it. If that was a state job, they would have tore it up. Because it started falling apart before they even finished it. Yeah. So <laughs> that's going to be a habitual problem. Well, it was too cold when they were putting it down. It was raining and it was almost November when they did that. Right. But there also was a problem with the mix, too. Yeah. Because we they had problems on that in one. Rockland, Old County Road. It all came apart like that one. So. Yeah. And instead, instead of us getting what we should have, if we'd actually take him to court, they be settled for him to repave over the top of it, right? Right. Yeah. So because when they came out, they thought it was a small problem. And they said, oh, yeah, no problem. We'll just dig up the area that's gone bad because they knew of just a couple areas. But when they got out, you know, I went the whole road and circled all the places. And then as soon as they got quiet, so <laughs> we took them on a ride and they saw it was the whole road. Then they stopped about talking about digging it up and replacing it. Then they went with this two inches of Band-aid. So, but anyway, that's what it is. Yep. At what, when do you think they're going to get back to you on the Round the Island Road, the guy that you said you brought up here? To I don't know. At. Millie and I talked about it on Monday. I, I made a note that... When was it that the person... The, oh, it was at least a month ago. So it came out. So you think that they might have something done fairly yeah, soon? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you hope. I don't know what the weeks. problem is. So that's something we're not, it won't be this budget season. It's going to have to be next year. No. All right. If there's no more budget items, Marjorie. So um, I just items. wanted to let you know that um, we're looking at replacing that Folly Pond culvert. Mm -hmm. And um, we may apply for what's called an aquatic organism passage grant from Maine DOT. I just wanted to make you aware of that. Okay. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't think you'd have an objection to applying for the Whenever we can get um, grant money, I'm all for it. Um, and I, um, the transfer station project, I was looking at, um, I got some estimates of interest rates. I was gonna do the main bond bank, but I realized that even if I do the application that's due February 8th, the um, funds don't become available until May 18th, in which case I'd have to do a, a bond anticipation note to carry me over um, for the construction costs. So I got an estimate from Machias and from the first um, Machias is offering 4.5 fixed for 10 years. The first is offering 4.63 and both 10 year. Yes. Okay. 
Um, so I was thinking of just going with Machias and wondered how, you know, what your thoughts are on, on that. It's fine with me. Any objection? 4.5 to 10 fixed seems like it's a decent that, rate for yeah, right now. So what was the bond bank going to be somewhere close to that probably? Well, I talked to our bond council. We all, you, you know, you have to work with bond council no matter what you do, whether it's a bank or the main bond bank. And um, he wasn't sure where the main bond bank was this year. Uh, everything is just so um, volatile. Is that the word? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. up and down. Well, the uh, prime rate's about 4.5, isn't it? 4.25 or 4.5 right now. And he, so yeah. You can't even, banks can't even borrow money any cheaper than that. Right. right. And the problem with main bond bank is you apply, but you don't know what the rate is going to be until they close on your loan. And so you have to take whatever they give you. Exactly. Oh. But this way we can lock in a rate knowing what it is. Right. Yeah. And if we can get it now, because it sounds like the Federal Reserve is still going to be increasing rates, at least in the federal funds rate in February, March. Yeah, they're going to increase it. I'm just, I'm going to go ahead with points. Machias and yeah. lock that mm -hmm. in. The... Let's, let's do that. Do you need a okay. motion or anything? Or... I have a consensus of the board. If that's. Um... Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Do you, do you think it should be a motion? No, I, you you presented it to us. I we we're all in agreement. Um, you, you have our permission to. I just that. didn't know if we, yeah, if we if you don't need one. This is for the this is for the transportation, transportation project. The eight fifty. I mean, the eight hundred and fifty thousand was our, was voted at a town meeting. We already have that so approved. This is just, just securing the financing. I'm, yeah, I've got to get the financing going, so I have some money. Um, if that's going to be starting yep. in March, so no, that's fine. Go go ahead and secure that with the first at four and a half percent. No, it'd be Machias. Sorry, Machias. Machias. The first was four point six. So it was six three. Yeah. 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 Four point five is Machias. Machias ten million. Okay. Um, okay, I just wanted to discuss. Try and lock that in before it goes up. And mm, exactly. Yeah. Anything else? Um, I don't have anything else. I'm sorry I didn't have as much done. It seems like I've been working on it. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, I just, I don't know. I kind of dig, try to dig into every account instead of just plugging figures in. You know, I look at what was spent in the previous years. And so our next meeting is the next. We have a regular, seven, five, right? regular board meeting at next, next Tuesday. And if you can fit any other budget items on there, okay, please do. Okay, even if there's even if there's, if there's one, quick ones, one, one, one or two, one whatever it is, if there's stuff that we know isn't going to change, let's just go ahead and put it on there and yeah. move on. Okay, anything from the rest of the board? <laughs> All right, and we'll be adjourned. Second, all is in favor. All right. Thank you, everyone. everyone. Budget committee set up to meet sometime, Eric, or do you have no idea? Yes. No idea. <laughs> and how many people? Say, how many people are on the committee? Not no idea. Donald, if Should you want to leave your book, I can uh, update it as I, I get things done. Okay. Yeah, be a good idea. And I'll come back and get some of our week. That one's been Eric, Eric, and Bill. Uh, if you just want to set it over on yeah. that table, but Eric has. I made can update it for you. Let me see. Do you, want, do you want them in those boxes over there? Or? Just on the tables, huh? No. Nope.